In this video we're going to take a look at what goes into making an iron selective electrode. So we're going to take a look at the basic construction of an iron selective electrode probe. Here is a schematic diagram of the probe and we have the iron selective electrode here. So there's a plastic casing with a metal wire dipped into a solution of ions referred to as the internal solution and then there's also an iron selective membrane separating this internal solution from the sample solution. We also have the reference electrode. Again, here's a plastic casing with a metal wire dipped into a solution referred to as the reference solution. And this is separated from the sample solution by this porous plug. So we get a liquid junction forming between these two solutions. Okay, in terms of the reference electrode, this allows the electrical circuit to be completed. So in order to measure the voltage with this voltmeter, we need uh, a complete circuit to be made. And the, the potential difference between the wire here and the solution is meant to be highly stable uh, and constant over time. Although, as we've seen in a previous video, that we can get drift over this. But the idea is that we get this stable fixed potential difference between the wire and the sample solution. And we require this reference electrode in order to take readings. If we didn't have this reference electrode, we wouldn't be able to complete the circuit and we wouldn't be able to get a voltage reading here for the potential difference over the probe. For the iron selective electrode, this metal uh, wire is submerged into this solution of ions, referred to as the internal solution, and this has ions to which the probe is being made selective. So if this was a potassium selective electrode, this would contain potassium ions, and so on and so forth. The membrane here separates the internal solution from the sample solution, and it exhibits a selective and reversible interaction with the analyte ion, the ion that we're interested in measuring. So this membrane is also um, mechanically stable, non-porous, and it needs to be insoluble in water, so it doesn't just dissolve. Um, and it's mechanically stable, so it doesn't just fall apart when using it. And it's non-porous because we don't want just any ions to diffuse across there. We need a very specific interaction with just the ion that we're interested in. Now, the potential difference across this membrane depends on the concentration of the analyte ion in the sample solution. And all the other potential differences are either negligible or constant. So the potential difference between this wire and the solution is um, designed to be constant. So we set up the experiment so that this is just a fixed value, the potential difference between this wire and the solution, uh, as is the potential difference between the wire for the reference electrode and the reference solution. So that's just a fixed potential difference. And we set up and designed the experiment so that the potential difference here for this liquid junction is negligible. So the only potential difference that changes throughout the experiment as we change the sample solution is the potential difference across this membrane. And that's what allows us to take this measurement. The overall potential difference is measured by a sensitive voltmeter at 0.2 millivolts or better. And so overall that is the probe construction for an iron selective uh, electrode with the reference electrode. Hope you found that useful. Please remember to subscribe, like and comment and check the bell icon if you want updates of future videos. Thanks very much for watching and bye for now.